Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. In this one, we added some few extra added features to it. And then we got a sweet tack room on this one. So I absolutely love a tack setup on this trailer, especially if you've got more than one per person going with you, you got multiple people We've got a tack room door on each side of the trailer. So being able to open those up, work out of both sides of the trailer, not running each other over, not having to haul a saddle from this side all the way around to the other side. It's just, it's an awesome setup for a family that's going with multiple people, or if you just want extra tack space too. So right up here on the front, we got our adjustable coupler. So this coupler moves up and down, and that way we can make sure you're sitting and riding as level as possible on the tow vehicle. And then we've got our safety chains, battery breakaway cable, and just all of our safety features right there. And then coming underneath, we've got a battery box, because on this trailer we do have a hydraulic jack. And so having that battery box, for one, you can run the lights off this trailer as you're not plugged into an external source or a vehicle, or, and you can run that jack on it. So having the battery in there, you've got the battery cutoff switch, that battery cutoff switch is going to cut all power to this trailer. So we all highly recommend every time you're done using the trailer, just come in here, flip that off. And if you accidentally leave a light on in the tack room, one in the rear stall area, something like that, that's going to cut the power to it and keep your battery from draining. So hydraulic jack right there. Hydraulic jack controls are actually right up here. So right now I'll move it up and down a little bit. Comes up and down really easy, I'm telling you. Being able to move that jack up and down with ease instead of cranking up and down and getting your workout in for the day just helps out big time. And then over in the corner, we got our spare tire and that's a full size spare tire. So then on these Cimarron trailers, I do want to note this real quick. So we have that adjustable coupler for one, but we've also been ordering our inventory trailers in with the 53 inch gooseneck drop. And what that does is allow more clearance between the truck bed and the trailer. So if you're going up into the mountains, you're going on some uneven dirt roads, stuff like that, you're not gonna be hitting your bed with the top of the trailer because you're gonna get some more clearance in there and in turn ride as level as possible too. So over here on this tack door, we got our 42 inch wide tack door. So give you some extra space while having this saddle rack swung out. So. Being able to get in and out of this trailer with ease while having this swung out helps out big time with that 42 inch wide door. So two tiers on this one. And then when we look at the other side of the trailer, you'll see two more tiers, but these are adjustable, removable. We can add additional, however you wanna do it, we can do it for you. Um, you can fit about five, maybe even six, depending on what kind of saddles they are on here. And they just easily slide up and down. Over on this door, We've got our swing out blanket pull, so that's gonna come out. And that ease of use, being able to pull this out and lay your blankets on there, grab one from the middle. However, whatever you need to do, it just helps out big time having that capability of swinging that out. And then down below that blanket pull, we've got our brush box. So brush box, both doors are gonna be set up similar. Um, brush boxes, they're just, they're handy to keep your smaller stuff in. Um, your stuff that you use pretty often, your brushes, your hoof picks, your fly spray, liniment, all of that stuff, that's what I always keep in my brush box and that way I'm not having to jump up into the trailer, be all awkward with it and grab something from the back so I keep it all right there in the front. So then this is on a gas shock so that's going to push in super easily and then coming up here into the tack room we've got a step. So that step you know, you're not having to step way up here on the side rail. You get about six inches lower to the ground and you get that wider step and just makes overall use a lot easier having it here. But coming in here to the tack room, you can see right away we've got our other setup. So swing out saddle rack, same thing. Blanket pull on that one. We'll see it from the other side when we walk around the trailer. But it's nice to have these, these two tack doors. When you've got horses tied on both sides, and you're trying to tack out of one side of the trailer, carry the heavy saddle all the way around or all the way around the truck, it sometimes can just be a pain. So being able to have both of these open up 
have horses tied on both sides and saddle them and tack them up from both sides just helps out with that ease of use big time. So over in the gooseneck area, we got a couple lights in there and that way if you're using that for storage, you know, you can actually see and see what you got up there or if you just, you know, need some extra light, you do have the OptiBright LED lights in here. And then windows on both sides, so if you're in a pinch, need to throw a mattress up there, you got the airflow coming through, ventilation. And then over here, or up here, we've got our, our bracing for an AC unit. So if you wanted to install an AC unit eventually, or right away, or you wanted to just put one of those vents in there, that's that same, that same footprint for it. And so having that in here already just makes that option for you. Over here on the side, we've got a shelf. So the shelf, it's mounted a little bit higher. We got rounded edges, and that way we're not gonna be nailing, hopefully nailing our face um, on it. So it's got that little lip too. So having the little lip, you know, is gonna help prevent some of that stuff from falling out while you're in transit and hopefully keep your tack room pretty clean for you. And then down below, you got a little brush bar, or brush bar, sorry, uh, <laughs> clothes bar. So if you wanna hang some clothes, I hang my polar wraps on them to dry, um, stuff like that, you can, you can use it however you want having there. And then down over here, we've got our boot box. So this opens up, you get storage all the way down through it. And then it closes up, you double as a seat and then triple as a step to get into that gooseneck area. So nice little feature to have on these trailers. We do have two LED lights above each tack door and on each side, we do have a little light switch. So no matter what side you're walking in the tack room, you can get the lights flipped on and you're able to see. And then behind this saddle rack, I love how they use this space right here by putting that 25 gallon water tank in that corner. It's just, a, it's just an awkward little corner that would be empty if we didn't have that water tank in there. So 25 gallons, be able to bring that from home, able to get some water while you're going to, on the road. If you're going up to the mountains and you wanna bring some water from home because you don't know where the nearest water source is, it's just handy to have that in the trailer for any, any case of something going on. And then this swings back in and fits perfect right there in the corner. Over on your partition wall, you got the fully carpeted partition wall with your bridle hooks. So we got two rows of those, so plenty of bridle hooks in here. Be able to hang all your stuff up, get your ropes off the floor, get your bridles looking nice and keep them good. Um, and then having that carpet behind them, is gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying that the bridles will do in transit. And that's gonna in turn, gonna keep your bridles in good condition and then keep your, your trailer in good condition as well. So really nice tack setup. I absolutely love the dual swing out. Like I said, if you've got multiple people with you, multiple horses, just that ease of use, having both sides to work out of helps out big time. So and over here on the hip side of the trailer, we've got our four bus windows on each stall. So these bus windows, they open up part way. So this one's open all the way right now. And then if you're driving, you know, you leave in the morning, especially this time of year. I had a sweatshirt on this morning because it was a little chillier. Um, so being able to shut this up a little, get some ventilation and airflow for the horses in the morning. And then as your day progresses and it gets warmer out, you can just open it from the outside as long as they are unlocked from the inside. You have an LED bar up above. So those, I'm telling you, when those are on and it's dark out, you can see for quite a bit of ways away. So having those, we've got one on each side of the trailer, and then you also have one on the rear. And having those tacking, untacking in the dark just benefits you big time. And then we got four ties all the way down. And then down below, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So those are Goodyear tires and they are filled with nitrogen. So that little green tab that you see right here, that is the indicator that these tires are filled with nitrogen. And that nitrogen, it's gonna run cooler. You're not gonna get as much fluctuation with the PSI. So I know especially right now because it's colder in the morning and then it warms up as the day progresses, lights on vehicles are probably popping up that you're that your tire pressure is low, but then as it air warms up in the tire and the exterior temperature warms up, it'll go away because the air fluctuates with the with the temperature. Whereas the nitrogen is going to help keep it more steady, 
and then um, run cooler as well. And if you need to, you can fill those with normal air. It's not gonna hurt the tire at all. So Cimarron trailers, you got one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with a center every four inches. And then you also get their standard half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. That's got an R3 thermal value on it. So it's gonna be a little more heat regulating, warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. And then a huge benefit for us here down on the front range, Denton hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. Um, so overall, really nice features that come on the Cimarron standard. And then they come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on these trailers as well. We got our 6040 door opening. So those open up. What I like about the 6040 is if you don't want to open both doors, that 60 side is big enough for a horse to hop in. Um, but if you got younger ones like I do that are afraid of smaller spaces and still getting them accustomed to loading in trailers, being able to get both of those doors opened up helps out the ease of use and getting them comfortable getting in a trailer. So another LED light up above that I was talking about. And then stepping up here into the trailer, right off the bat we've got our butt, or butt strap that comes across. So that butt strap is going to help prevent this last horse from backing out completely when you open these back doors. I know I tie solid in a trailer, so having this butt strap prevent that horse from potentially getting in an injury or in a situation where they get injured um, helps out big time because they're going to hit this and step back in instead of shooting backwards. So then on the dividers, so all the dividers are going to be spring loaded. So we're on a little bit of a slant right now, so they're going to come back at me just a little bit. So if you needed, you know, to have a clip to push them off to the side and clip them to the side, we can easily add that for you. And that way they're not going to be coming back at all. But it's really, really not an issue if you're sitting on level ground, they're not going to be coming back at you. So front divider, we've got a stud stall. So full length stud stall all the way down to the ground. So this divider, you know, having the capabilities of having this, you've got, you know, if you've got a horse that likes to step on another one while, while you're driving or in transport, or if you've got a young one that's still learning how to stand in a trailer properly, being able to shove them up in this front stall and know that they're not going to be stepping on their neighbor is a big one for me. And then second, you've got an escape door on this front stall. So if you wanted to, and you're only hauling three horses, you could easily use this front stall as a storage space because you've got this full length divider. Nothing's going to be rolling back or coming back underneath the horse's legs. It's going to keep it in that area. And then the escape door, you're going to be able to access it from the exterior of the trailer. We got pads on both sides of every divider. So pads for one, you know, they add comfort for, to the horses when you're traveling. And for two, they're going to help prevent some of that rubbing that the horses will get sitting against this aluminum, especially your lighter colored horses. So your Palominos, your Grays, your Paints, um, Buckskins, even some Sorrels and Bays, they get it on them too. Um, but they get to rubbing against this aluminum and then they get stains on their hips. And then you get to a show and you've got a aluminum stained horse. So having the pads is gonna help prevent some of that and then the comfort of the horse as well. And one thing I do wanna show you, so Cimarron, I love how they do their latches for these dividers because all it is is you just push in real quick. So me, I have young horses that are still learning how to stand in a trailer, how to feel comfortable in a trailer. So being able to get them in here and just push a hip over and hit that with my hip and turn, get it closed on them, more comfort. You're not having to mess with a pin. You're not having to mess with opening and closing a, a latch or something. It's just the ease of use especially with young horses, being able to push them over and make sure that they're in that area and gonna stay in that area. So then up above each stall, you do have a roof vent. So those are gonna push forward and backwards. You push them forward, they'll help draw that air in, push them back, help draw that air back out and keep that airflow going over the horses' heads and backs and just keep them comfortable. So I'm gonna shut this door real quick so you can get a feel of that 6040 setup that I was telling you about and how much space you still have to get a horse into that first side. So that's what the 6040, when the 40 side is closed, 
And then behind here, you do have your light switches. So your light switches for each side, of exterior of the trailer, and then interior stall area. So then coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on all four stalls, including the one with the escape door. So I know that's a big one for me, being able to get airflow for the horses and make sure they're staying comfortable while you're, while you're going somewhere. So then each of these drop down, they pop into place. So you're not gonna get them slapping against the trailer. They're gonna be popped into place. And then they also pop up and the jail bars come down. It's that easy to be able to get them down, offer the horses more feed, offer them some water, whatever they need, able to check on them. That's something I really like having this, this side rail right here, being able to bring this down. You can step up, check on that horse, make sure you know, they're still standing on all fours, that they're looking good and that they're healthy while you're driving. And then to put this back up, super simple to put that back up. Each window is gonna come with a little bus window. So if you didn't want full ventilation for them, you're hauling in the winter, you still want a little bit of airflow going through, you can open up this bus window and just get a little bit of airflow through the window. So then when this one comes up, I can open up this escape door and that is into your first stall. So that's what I was talking about with having that for storage. If you do have storage in there, you can easily access it from the outside. You're not having to take horses off a trailer to get to something. Um, you can just get right here on the side. Or if you got a horse that is still learning how to load and you got to walk in with it and jump out real quick, you can do that as well. And then it's got a double lock system on it. So you've got your one latch and then you got your butterfly latch that comes over top. So if you do have a horse in this front stall and they're playing with this latch and let's say they happen to get it open, as long as you have that butterfly latch shut, it's gonna prevent them from getting out of the trailer. So then here's our other tack room door. So same setup, we got our two tier saddle rack and those are adjustable, removable. We can add additional, however you wanna do it. And then over on the door, we've got another swing out blanket pole. And then we've got our brush box down below. So, and then we've got windows on the doors so we can get those opened up, get some airflow in there. I know when sweaty, musty, smelling horse blankets sit in an enclosed area, it gets to smelling really bad. So get those opened up and you get some airflow going through. So these, this trailer right here, we're gonna be sitting at 610 wide. We're sitting at seven feet, one inches tall. And then we have an on the floor length of 20 feet, 23 feet. So Cimarron trailers, like I said earlier, eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So really nice warranties on these trailers. And then stock number we've got on this one is 5N220803. And that's 5N220803. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck with the dual swing out front tack. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot or on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone and that's 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email to Morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null k-n-o-l-l -L, at transwest.com if you click the link below it'll take you to this trailer on our web page and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day